What are you talking about, Mama? Plants, Wolfie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. Today I'm doing another episode of my top 10 favorite Hoyas of the month. So it will be the month of November. Um, there will be maybe um, just one that's repeated from last month, but um, it was quite a hard um, task to choose my favorite 10 Hoyas this month because everybody is just growing this month. I think it's because since we've moved, my Hoya setup has changed. I have added grow lights and a lot of them are now residing in cabinets where the humidi humidity and warmth are much similar to their original um, birthplace, I guess, Birth where they're from, Orig where, uh, where they were originated from. So I think a lot of the Hoyas are just doing really well and they're really happy and throwing out new growth. But um, I do have these 10 uh, are making me particularly happy this month uh, with how they're doing. Some of them have been dormant for a really long time and they're now finally putting out new growth. If you guys like content like content like this, like Hoyas, plant hauls and plant care, please uh, hit that subscribe button um, and like the video if you like it. I really appreciate it. I'm so close to reaching 1,000 subscribers and I'm just super grateful. Thank you guys. So without further ado, we're going to go into my top 10 favorite Hoyas this month. Uh, I will start with this guy first because really I've gotten it since um, for over a year, almost a year now and it just w wasn't doing anything. I gave a cutting away um, and it wasn't growing so I was kind of getting worried. I switched it up into sphagnum moss and into the cabinet and within a really short time it started putting out new growth. So this is my um, Hoya Acuta Variegata I believe. As you guys can see, there's this little new stem, and the stem is really gorgeous, really pink. Um, it's put out this new leaf that is going to be a solid green leaf. It was actually trying to put out two new leaves here, but when I was cleaning the shelf, I accidentally knocked um, a leaf off. It was really heartbreaking for me. Um, and it was going to be a variegated leaf too. Oh, I can see another uh, growth point hidden behind the stem. You know, a lot of times with Hoyas, uh, is it focusing? With Hoyas, the new leaves, um, they could put out a couple or a few new leaves and maybe one uh, will grow into maturity. Um, but I'm finding that in the cabinet with the higher humidity, it's helping the leaves mature more and I'm having less um, new leaf dropping on me. And there's another, I don't know if you could see this, used to be like a dry stem, but there's a little pink tip on the top. I think it's going to try to grow something out from there too. Yeah, so this one is a beautiful Hoya and it's finally producing for me. Really excited about that. As so yeah, so all of these Hoyas, except for one, are sitting in the cabinet right now. Um, so I guess I, I'll show you guys the one that's not sitting in the cabinet right now, but also uh, just throwing out a lot of new growth is my Hoya Obovara. Um, this is actually three different kinds that I potted together. There's the regular one, um, and then, uh, I don't know if you can see the Obovara Splash and um, of Obovara Variegata that's kind of reverting. I actually don't, it's, I don't really like the Variegata very much so I kind of wanted just like a full green pot and I kind of um, thought about maybe cutting this off but I decided to just keep it and let it do its thing. But yeah and these two, this two are new leaves. This is a new stem. Uh, and there's this one is a new leaf. This splashy one, this one. This is a new leaf, and there's no, more new leaves coming. These two are new leaves. Yeah, it's just um, it was dormant for a really long time. Occasionally, I'll throw out one leaf, 
but uh, right now I think it's hitting a growth spurt. Lots of growth happening all over this pot. So beautiful. I love, this is my original um, wish list plant. All right, that's the second one. And the third one I will show you is my Hoya IR26. It's so gorgeous. When I got it, it was a much bigger plant than this, but I wasn't taking, I didn't know how to take care of it well. Um, and it was dropping a lot of leaves from being over water and the humidity being too low. But now it's finally bouncing back. So when I show you, the green leaves are the original leaves. And the red ones are all the new ones that are growing in the new condition, which is under a grow light in the cabinet. I really want the camera to be able to focus on how beautiful these leaves are. The, the splashes. Is it, doing, is it focusing? I'm really trying to save up and get a better camera for, for filming. I know I don't have so many subscribers and I'm not making money from YouTube, but I just enjoy doing it. And I want, I want the uh, equipment to help me do a better job. There you go. IR26 is such adorable, beautiful Hoya. And so glad it's doing well now. All right. And the next Hoya I'm gonna show you guys is my Hoya Elliptica. This is actually two different kinds of Hoya Elliptica um, um, combined into one pot. I have originally had, I think the round, bigger leaf form um, it wasn't doing very well, uh, so I chopped it into two and then potted this one into sphagnum moss. And then I got another one that's the long, smaller leaf version. And they are all doing really well in the sphagnum moss in the cabinet. So you can see this is the rounder leaf one. I, I saved one cutting for myself, it's just those two leaves. But it recently put out one new leaf here. And I actually was trying to put out two new leaves, but I forgot to water it in time. I kind of let it dry out too much during that time and it dropped that new leaf. And these, the longer, smaller, narrower form is a different kind of elliptica. And they, so uh, it was one plant and I cut it into two and then potted them both in here. And I think they have both rooted and they're both really firm and I can see little growth points. Can you see from here? Little growth point here and then there's another growth point here. So I think both cuttings are doing pretty well. All three cuttings are doing really well. So gorgeous, this Hoya. All right, and the next one I will show you, I actually just feature this in my recent plant haul video, but I love it so much. And since I filmed that video, it's put out some new leaves and the new leaves are uh, getting this lavender color to it. It's so gorgeous. So I have to show you guys that I'm loving it so much. The Hoya Lacunosa um, Silver. But I want you to see the new growth. I put it, actually check out my Instagram too. Maybe you can see a better photo of this if it's not focusing. I really want to show you guys the lilac coloring. Is it showing? Oh, I hope it is. Maybe I'll insert a photo actually in the video. But um, yeah, definitely captures my heart and affection. And even this like cute little area root with all the pink in it is so adorable. I love when the aerial roots get super plump and juicy. And the next one I want to show you is my Hoya Comingiana. It was on my list I think a couple months ago. Uh, it's putting out some new leaves now. I took a cutting of it thinking I would make a fuller pot but then I ended up spending too much money shopping for plants so I had to sell the cutting to supplement my, to kind of support my, you know, addiction. But um, this one is, uh, I'm hoping that it'll throw out new stamps, but it, at least it's throwing out new leaf. 
and every time it does it's just so stunning the new leaf is like on the top of these green ones and it just kind of looks like a flower yeah and I don't need to tell you this beautiful structural way of uh, growth is just so attractive about this um, Hoya All right, and then the next one I'll show you is, I've also recently shown you guys this one, but it's just growing so well. I just received this not too long ago, and I told you guys before that I had killed one of my, uh, one Caldata before. So for this one to be doing so well in my care, it just makes me so happy. Um, this was the new leaf that was super tiny when she shipped it, and it's grown into, I think, maturity that's as big as it's gonna get but all these new stems it's just it's thrown out since um coming into my care and you know because hoyas they grow so slow so i don't really care if they are throwing out new leaves or new stems as long as they're growing they make me happy i've had hoyas that just sit there for ages and they just don't they just look like they're a plastic plant. So when there's growth, it's just it just makes me super happy. Um, the next one I will show you is my Hoya sigillatus. I uh, this was my favorite I think two months ago, and because I love it so much, I asked for if um, there's any uh, anyone selling. So then I ended up uh, adding two cuttings into it. Uh, I bought it locally and um, so I want to show you so this is one cutting it hasn't done anything but it's firm and this is the other cutting that I got and it's put out this kind of wonky new leaf <laughs> but also my own original one this beautiful purple sigillatus is finally working on a new stamp so I'm really, really happy about that. It has stayed this um, for uh, this length for a really, really long time. So I'm really happy about this little new growth. And uh, yeah, wish me luck that it's gonna put out more beautiful leaves. So pretty. All right, and the next one I will show you, we only have two left actually, guys. Um, is this Clemensorium. I have featured this guy in my Halloween plant video because it's just kind of with the way the veins are it just kind of it's like a gnarly beautiful plant. Um, also it was really slow growing for me and I'm really happy that it's working on the new stem. I know stems are not super exciting for people to see but it makes me so happy. Um, yeah, but this is definitely a be really beautiful Hoya. I just love the veins. Uh, it took me a really long time to take a cutting from it, so, uh, because it's finally working on new growth, so I took one cutting off of it to root to, um, either add to the pot or add to the bank to support my addiction. <laughs> All right. So last but not least, you guys have seen this so many times. You're basically just watching the Patanko grow with me uh, on this Hoya. My Hoya Dekiai. So it is, the, the Patanko is still going strong. It's been on my top 10 list many times because it's working on the Patanko and because it's doing really well after um, being imported. So I'm just gonna keep this on my list for as long as it's growing. But this is not the only peduncle that's doing well. There's another one back here that I think means business, that it actually wants to become a flower. So we'll see. I will definitely keep you guys posted. If you don't get to see it um, as it's blooming uh, for my next month's top 10 favorites, you will at the very least see pictures of it. But I'm um, so excited. It's just such a beautiful Hoya and I can't wait to see um, 
the bloom from it. All right, guys, I think that's 10. That is a wrap up. Um, thank you so much for being here again. If you like the video, please click like, uh, subscribe to my channel and comment. Let me know what you uh, want to see more of. I really appreciate your feedback and you being here. Um, so that's it from me for now. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.